Hello everyone. I'm Neha Arura here. I'm just giving you the demonstration of the masking and the rendering, which is the most important in the last chapter we conduct in the Photoshop. So as you all are aware for the masking and rendering, we have to take a flat, flat sketch of the vector based picture. So as you can take or you can make in the Photoshop that all the any garments which, are, which should be in the flat picture or the vector based picture, and then we have to put up the print in the Photoshop. So how we can go? Just let's start. So initially we will just open the picture, whatever you want to uh, to the mask. For example, I, I am just masking it. Uh, the T-shirt or might be any shirt, anything which you want to mask that. So you have to open that picture in the Photoshop. OK, let's. Uh, uh, start of start with this crop top one side shoulder so let's start with that so first of all unlock the picture which we have to just unlock from this lock section then we have to just start to selection of this picture through the any selection tool where the many tools are available but we do we use to the magic wand tool you can use any of that object or quick selection or any magic wand so i'll just stick with the magic wand tool so here you can see the selection has been done and then the we have to make a new uh, group of that so i have made the group and then mask of that. So I have just masked it. What is the meaning of that? So where I have selected the picture in a grouping form and then masking, it means the extraction has been done that particular area. So I can rename the uh, picture area name. For example, if it is a one one block picture, so definitely I can give a top. But if it is in the uh, two sides of that, so definitely we can give the another name. I'll just show you in that way as well and then we will we have to open the picture or open the print in our screen whatever you made in the uh, pattern form and uh, then just start uh, doing of masking for example i'm just opening my print here and then i have to just select through the control a through control a i have selected my picture control c and then i'll just moving the control v so now you can see the draping has been done into the selected area. Now I can see that the draping uh, uh, has been done, but the size of the print is too big. So I can do one thing. I will just use the control T. It means the transformation. Transformation, it means you can resize the print and maybe the restyling of that. So for example, I have resized my print in a smaller way so that I am doing it here. And then I, if I want to change the direction of print, for example, like this, I really like the most. So I can just use this like this way and then press enter. Can you see the guys a very nicely has been uh, draped up your picture in a proper silhouettes and prints here? I'm just using the another example of here so I can see that where uh, where we have to drape the pattern in the in the different side of that. So you can see that like I have used again uh, another picture of style uh, through the magic wand tool where I'm just selecting the area of my T-shirt. So I have selected that T-shirt uh, front and then just using the new group and uh, just using the masking tool where I can see this icon. So layer mask I have been done and then the rename of that. So rename, I, for example, I have used the front part of T-shirt like front panel. OK, so I have done the front panel and then I'm just using the another section. So I have to go to my basic layer and then start selecting of my area. For example, I'm just selecting a sleeve portion with the shift key. You can select the multiple selection and uh, without that you can select the single selection. So I have just selected that and then again making the group and then using the masking action. So what I'm doing it like first I'm just selecting through the magic wand the area I have selected then using the uh, this new layer group and then the using this masking. So masking I have been, I have been done the what and then I'll just give the name. I just putting the name of sleeve. So I have done it now. What portion is um, remaining? So everybody can see the uh, call. Uh, the neckline has been remaining. 
So uh, you guys can see the selection has been done, uh, not properly done. So I will select my proper For ham, I am using this again selection and then putting the group and then masking it. So I'll just put my area name is ham line and then OK. Now I'll do start using the rendered. For example, um, this was my print. Again, use the move tool, control A. Control C, copy. Control A for all selection. And then start giving the paste. And uh, again, proportionate the size of print through the transformation tool. Again, I can see the print is too big comparatively of my t-shirt and then start putting the sleeve proportion. Here I can see this is best, but I can also resize because I guess this looks more better. You can proportionate the different uh, variant of size. Now I am just giving in the hemline. Why I'm doing it separately? Because sometimes the direction of fabric would be changed. I mean, the grain line are changed, so I'll 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 just take it uh, separately. I guess this would be better. Okay, then press enter, and then uh, guys, you can just uh, save the picture. Same view will just follow in the back side of picture. Uh, okay, so I guess this is the clear to all this chapter. Thank you.